Playing sports can be a great way to pass time, stay active, and make friends as people young and old polish their skills and refine their craft. The dedication and focus that goes into playing sports will improve work ethic and also foster relationships and build character. As organized sports continue to grow in the United States, local youth are encouraged to register for their respective upcoming seasons with their local sports affiliates. As early as I can remember, I know I started volleyball when I was eight. I grew up playing the real football. Then I came to America and started playing American football. I always said I played, uh, played soccer for myself, played baseball for my dad, but like, I loved both. I played baseball, basketball, football, and tennis. I uh, played a little football, played a lot of baseball. I actually played baseball up till I was 57 years old. Tennis, swimming, uh, skiing, downhill skiing, cross country skiing, ice skating in the winter time. My family was always really active and uh, participated in a lot of sports just kind of for fun. My friends were playing sports. I wanted to play. My brothers were playing sports. It was just something that kind of runs in my family, I guess. And being so young and getting into sports, it gives you a, a, a good routine to get into. And really, those are your first really close friends that you have growing up. That's where you learn to be social. That's where you learn to talk to people. Um, I, I think that is what got me out of my shell as a kid. It helped me get to know me. You know, I feel like if you have a better understanding of yourself and you know yourself, you're going to be more likely to succeed. My parents are both um, really good athletes. I mean, athletically talented. They're very competitive. They really inspired us to, you know, do your best and try hard and compete in whatever realm that would be. My career started in sports. I worked for the Kansas City Chiefs in the public relations office. And even as a, you know, being somebody in the office, not you know, suiting up and getting on the field, I mean, you were still part of the team and you felt like you were really essential to the success or the, or the lack of success of the team, as it were. I mean, I was fortunate to be there during a time where we had a lot of success. If you don't work as a team, your team's not going to succeed. Everybody, you know, in, in, in my two departments and uh, every, everyone in, in the city, you know, be they uh, a supervisor or, or you know, work, a staff worker, um, everybody, has a, everybody has a position on the team. At 10 years old and at 30 years old, it's the same, you know, you have this, it's that, you need that same chemistry, you need everybody. Teamwork is really about knowing when you, you know, when to take the lead and when to let somebody else uh, take the lead and play a supporting role. You have to learn how to win and lose together and teamwork is a necessity, you know, in any organization. I, just, I don't think that it's possible for an organization or a team to succeed without teamwork. I, I, I truly think that a lot of the core values you learn uh, in sports growing up translate to just about any facet of life. Um, working for the City of Independence is no different. Um, you learn to be relied upon and to rely on people. You learn to uh, effectively communicate your issues. Um, I think the most successful teams are the ones where each of the individual members has a skill or a talent that they're able to contribute that others don't. And when you bring those together, um, it helps form something more powerful than those individual components. Whether it's sports or doing work here at the city, um, having that open, vulnerable kind of communication that forces you to uh, um, evaluate and look to get better, uh, I think that's the kind of lessons that come out of both winning and losing. Being a part of a team uh, taught me to depend on others um, and not having to do everything on my own. Everyone plays their part and the goal is, is for the team to be successful. Pull, pulling your own weight, knowing where you need to be, knowing your job. Um, it's not always being the star. It's not always being the person that's gonna get the headlines. It's being the person that's gonna do the grunt work. It's gonna be the person um, behind the scenes making it all happen, making it work. And of course in sports, there has to be a winner, there has to be a loser. But I learned in life, 
not to look at it as a loss. I either win or I learn. So when things doesn't go my way, uh, it's not a loss, but more so a learning lesson. So it's, it's almost like back when I was managing baseball and having a team under me. You get to hand down your knowledge uh, to your team and um, you get to interact with them and you get to, uh, to know more, more about them and, and the more comfortable you are with them and they are with you, I think the better the relationship is. We need each other. It's not about I, it's, it's about right now, uh, I'm a member of the City of Independence, so it's about making the City of Independence look good. I feel like that's sort of the culture very much that we have here at the City of Independence, just you know, within our organization is that we really believe that our successes are shared, our disappointments are shared. Certainly when we have tragedies, which we've unfortunately had, you know, those are shared and celebrations are shared. Yeah, you know, Independence is a very large and diverse community. Uh, and I think that's a, an asset for us, just like a team. Um, I think you want a lot of folks who maybe normally wouldn't come together, um, but they come together around that common cause. There's really a sense of we are all in this together, we have common goals, There's and um, you know we're all striving to make this city the best it can be.